Welcome back to Mystery Movies. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The film opens in Africa, where a gathering of poachers run over a pride of lions taking care of off a zebra body. The poachers shoot the lions however miss the head of the pride. The men start to lay out a snare for the title, just to be uninformed that it is close. One of the poachers arises with his face, and throat cut not long before the lion jumps from the field and goes after another poacher. Dr. Nate Samuels, Idris Elba, is showing up in similar area with his little girls, Meredith Mir, Iana Halley, and Nora Leah Jeffries for a safari getaway. They meet with Nate's companion, Martin fights Charlton Copley who is set to direct them on their outing. Nate and the young ladies, are additionally as yet grieving the deficiency of his significant other Emily's song Maggothame to malignant growth. While eating together, Mir communicates outrage toward Nate for not being there in Emily's last days because of his work. Nate later tells Martin his second thoughts over the difficulty. The following day Martin drives the family on their safari, joined by his companion Banji, Tafrine at Sansa. They pause and see a pride of lions that Martin has raised since they were whelps, so the lions welcome him like huge well-disposed pets. Martin sees one lioness with a projectile injury in her paw. However when he attempts to move toward her, she snarls at him, and one of different lions drives Martin away. As they proceed with their excursion, the gathering runs over a town that appears to be emptied. Nate and Martin go into the houses and find the decaying carcasses of numerous townspeople having been gone after by the head lion from the killed pride. Nate advises the young ladies to remain by the vehicle, they proceed with their drive and find an injured man named Freak, Ronald Koinazzi Martin goes off all alone while Nate endeavors to apply medical aid to Mutante, however he passes on. Martin seems to see the lion and discharge a fired from his rifle. Nate goes to beware of him and sees the lion coming his direction. He runs back to the vehicle similarly as the lion pursues him and endeavors to break into the vehicle. Nate drives the vehicle, yet winds up against a slope where the vehicle slows down. The lion creates some distance from Nate and the young ladies while he endeavors to contact Martin, whose leg has been gravely injured by the lion. Nate guides him by means of walkie-talkie through halting the dying, while they attempt to sort out a method for safeguarding him. Nate finds a sedative rifle and attempts to look out for the lion. After simple spots where Martin says he is, she gets out of the vehicle to help out, while the lion shows up from over a stone. The animal assaults Nate as he attempts to sedate it, and Simple figures out how to advance toward Martin. Nora sticks a dull in the lion's back, while it is pursuing Nate, and Mir can bring Martin back securely. Gathering stays in the vehicle going into the evening, attempting to rescue what little water, they have as they attempt to figure out how to search for help. The lion's sedative additionally wears off quicker than they expected, and it keeps following the region. Nate has a bad dream about the lion pursuing the young ladies. He lets Mir know that he adored their mom and second thoughts not being there when she really wanted him. Before long, the gathering hears a voice through the walkie-talkie and points out their area. The gathering is found by poachers, who turn their weapons on the gathering when they perceive Martin, as he is an enemy of poacher that has killed a portion of their men. Everybody then hears the lion snarling before it makes its assault. Nate gets the young ladies to somewhere safe and secure, as he concludes he needs to take the poacher's van. The lion kills every one of the poachers and Nate heads out to find the van keys. At the point when the lion draws nearer to the gathering's vehicle, Martin advises the young ladies to hurry to the van. The lion endeavors to get through the window that it prior broke, and Martin moves it alongside the vehicle down the slope. The lion attempts to get Martin, yet he recognizes the spilling gas and lights it, blowing himself and the vehicle up, while setting the lion ablaze. As morning comes, Nate drives the young ladies nearer to their camp, however he stops at an unwanted structure to attempt to give simple clinical assistance since she was injured by the lion. Nate keeps the young ladies concealed as the lion, presently severely consumed shows. Nate thinks of a thought, and begins to make clamor to draw the lion toward him. Nate runs out into the field, which is in a similar region where Martin showed them the pride of lions. Nate then, at that point, battles the lion one-on-one, -on -one, hitting it and wounding it while the lion gives making nibbles an effort of him. As he is near being mortally injured, different lions from the pride pursue the reprobate lion and overwhelm it prior to destroying it. 
Nate then drops and sees a dream of Emily, apparently prepared to join her in death. Nate awakens in the medical clinic close to Mir and Nora, they laud him for realizing that different lions would kill the miscreant lion to safeguard their pride. They additionally tell him that Banji safeguarded them. The family proceeds with their excursion snap a photo close to a tree where an immense group of birds fly out. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notification and leave a like to help us out. Thank you for watching.